guys welcome back to my channel nurse rachel and crafts today i have a new release from diamond art club this one is called bringing home the tree y'all isn't that beautiful absolutely stunning so this is by the mcneil studio they are the best people to do Christmas paintings. They just, they get it right every time. That's what they do. This is what they specialize in. And yeah, their art is just beautiful. So this is a square diamond painting. It is a big one, you guys. It's 104 by 70 centimeters or 41 by 27.6 inches. Absolutely stunning. So this is what else. The McNeil Studio has with Diamond Art Club. They've got quite a few. And yeah, I love their stuff. So with Diamond Art Club, if your painting is a square, it's going to come in this blue box with this blue square and this blue stripe. And if it was a round diamond painting, it will come in a pink box. So, did any of you guys already pick this one up? It's, it's beautiful, y'all. For me, this was definitely a 5 out of 5 for me. And it was a, a no-brainer for me. I saw it when um, Diamond Art Club sneak peeked it on Facebook and their Instagram page. And, yeah, I... I fell in love. I knew I had to have that one. So in your box will be a toolkit. This is made for a square diamond painting. That means you will get tweezers. Here's everything else included. You're going to get an applicator pen, a grippy, number four multi-placer, two pieces of heart-shaped wax, a clear white boat, and extra baggies. And y'all, I need to take these out. This bag is stuffed. Full of bags y'all i don't think i've ever gotten this many at one time before <laughs> i don't know who packaged this kit but y'all do you see this and i just dropped one y'all this this is insane <laughs> wow okay <laughs> Um, you're also going to get this smaller sticker. It's a little beat up, but that's all right. Um, many people put this on the outside of their box uh, to help them know what they've got um, for storage. They will put it in a logbook. Um, some have made cover minders out of them. Some put them on their crafting tables, whatever you want. There are no laws or rules with that painting. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> this painting, y'all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. It doesn't want to come out of the bag, y'all. I do not know how I'm going to get that back in there. All right. Oh, you know what, y'all? It feels a little... Hmm. It feels a little greasy. Well, in your canvas will be step-by-step -step instructions. There are tips in here and a coupon code. You're going to get this larger sticker sheet. This is the sticker that I use in my logbook. Y'all, look at this, y'all. The sky, that house here with those lights, y'all. Isn't this beautiful? This is stunning. Wow. On your sticker sheet will be a start end date. Info about the painting. And over here will be all your colors and your symbols. So we're going to get 55 colors with this painting. And let's see how many ABs. It looks like four. So with Diamond Art Club, if the number is under 150, it's Noah Borealis Diamond. 
That's a diamond with an iridescent coating on it to make it sparkle more. Let's see. Stickers are pre-cut. And look, y'all, I accidentally pulled one off. And then over here, extra stickers. We love that, right? Your drills are labeled. So you can safely store them apart from your canvas and you will know what goes to what. We will look at the diamonds more um, later. But yeah, I'm loving the color palette. All right, so this one, this one is a massive one. So I won't be able to get it all in frame at one time, but worry you not i'm going to make sure that you get all the details of this one i'm going to make sure you see everything yo <laughs> i'm already loving it that cute little snowman right here all right let me ro unroll the other side what are we thinking so far Wow, y'all. Now, I'm going to sound so crazy, y'all, but uh, this doesn't look that big to me. You know? And maybe it's because I'm working on one right now that's a similar size. And I've already done one that was bigger than this one. So, it doesn't look that big to me, y'all. All right. So, I'm going to move this down. This is, this is beautiful, y'all. Wow. It definitely looks like um, some confetti, but not, not super crazy. But you're going to spend some time on this one. Like I see areas here where if you do multiplays, you can use... Um, a multi-placer here to do some line blocking, you know, but yeah, definitely once you get into the trees, um, you know, it's going to be some confetti in there, but me just looking at it at like a quick glance, it doesn't look super confetti. All right, y'all, I am going to pan this one for you. Favorite part on this canvas, y'all, is the house here. I'm, I love this house. It's so clearly rendered. Uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, you can clearly see there's a reef on this door. And, yeah, you can see the stairs leading up to the door. The lights, you know, outlining the house. It's beautiful. The garland that they have hanging. I love that each house next to it, and that looks like a church, it's clearly rendered. And to me, that's one of my favorite things about a larger painting is because you are going to get all the detail. 
nothing is going to be spared here. I love the snowman. You know, and you could tell that these are people standing around the snowman, you know, two little kids. This looks like a mom, maybe with like this long jacket on. And then that looks like a dog, right? And then is this a guy? Is that a man walking? Y'all like even the mailbox. Y'all see how clearly this mailbox is rendered here? It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And then you have the horse and carriage, you know, with the tree in the back. Very clear what you're looking at. You know, more people just walking around, you know, enjoying the beautiful day. And then are these cardinals, y'all? And it seems like this is something that the McNeil Studio does. I find so many times. Um, these red birds in their paintings. But yeah, you've got the red birds here in the tree, that beautiful orange bird. It's stunning. It is absolutely stunning. And then the sky. So beautiful. What do y'all think? Isn't it beautiful, you guys? So while you gaze at this magnificent piece, I'm just going to talk about the canvas a bit more. So Dama Art Club uses pour glue. They also use a material called tarpaulin that allows for their canvases to self flatten on their own. They put a velvet coating on the backs of their canvases to make them very soft. They do a type of surging to their edges along with scalloping to prevent any fraying. On the bottom left of their canvases, they always put a thumbnail, the name of the painting, the size, and the artist. They will always provide two schematics or legends. One will be in the upper left and one will be in the lower right, which we love. And Diamond Art Club's canvases maintain their color saturation, so you do not have to worry about your colors fading. Now I'm gonna pull this beauty up so we can check the drill for it. Now Diamond Art Club has been switching up their symbols and I still have not come across blurry symbols with them, even with the new symbols. Your canvas and your diamonds are under a lifetime warranty. So if you were to come across blurry symbols or you know, just your canvas is messed up, it's not sticky, they will either send you a new one or you can get a refund. If you spill your diamonds or if you run out, they will send you replacements, which we love, right? Yeah, so there's no blurry symbols here. You don't have to worry about that. All right, let's look at the diamonds. All right, so Diamond Art Club does use resin for their drills, which we love. That means they'll be more sparkly. They are also, Diamond Art Club, now making their own diamonds, you guys. So for squares, that means that each diamond will have 13 facets, making them even more sparkly. Your drills will now also have almost no trash in them and you guys the new drills are absolutely wonderful to work with so i'll call some numbers but not all so we're going to get three bags of 415. we're going to get it's looking like six bags of 762 and i love that uh this painting really doesn't have a bunch of white you know it's really gray gray and blue we're going to get, it looks like eight bags of 38.65. And you would think with a painting of, you know, 104 by 70 centimeters, you have more than that, but no. Nope. It's this white, gray, and blue. We're gonna get two bags of 9.35. And then two bags of 318. Two bags of 934. I like this green. It's pretty. 
and then two bags of 340 two bags of 945 two bags of 37.99 and then just a small bag of 310 and you guys the new square 310s from diamond art club are now in my opinion the best color that they make uh this color here has almost no trash in it you guys and the sparkle is phenomenal two bags of 317 and two bags of 414 two bags of 937 two bags of 938 and two bags of 211. Here's our first AB 129, a beautiful soft yellow. So here's the sparkle of a regular diamond and then that rainbow iridescence is what you get with an AB drill. Absolutely beautiful. Here's our second AB, 126. Very soft lilac lavender color. So beautiful. Here's our third AB, 125. It's like a minty green, a very light minty green color. I love this color, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Here's our last AB, 131. It's like a true orange, right? Maybe a little yellow in it. Beautiful. Okay, let's see where the ABs go. All right, so there are four ABs with this one. The first one is the minty green color, the 125. That's labeled as number one. And I went looking, you guys, and I didn't really find a lot of that color. Um, it's here. This color green there. I'm only finding it in this one spot. Now, it's possible that it is in other places, and I'm just not seeing it. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I can find of that color. Now, Diamond Art Club does provide 20% more of each color diamond. So, you can add more if you would like. But, yeah, that's all I'm seeing of, of that color. The second AB is that lilac color, uh, 126. That's labeled as number two, and it is this color here. Now, it is next to a color a little darker than it, uh, 211. So, the purple that you, that you see here will either be the AB or it'll be 211. All on top of the roof here is going to be a mixture of those colors. Wow, that's going to be beautiful. So yeah, the roof here, here, all that purple. Um, let's see that color. Oh, this is the 211 color. And then the purple in the remainder of the sky is uh, 211 in a different purple. But yeah, on the roof, you'll find the AB in here. Um, I'm not seeing any more of that AB over on this side. The third AB is that yellow, the 129, that's labeled as number three. And I'm finding that color, it is sprinkled throughout in little patches. So there's like a cluster of four here. It's looking like that's going to be used um, for the lighting. These yellow lines here, all of that is AB. More here. In the windows, throughout this 
So yeah, the lighter yellow will more than likely be AB. Here, in this window, up here, here, on the steps here. The fourth AB is that orange color, the 131, that's labeled as number four. And again, I'm finding it in the windows. So here, up here, this orangey color. So it's, it's all throughout the windows here. here I'm not seeing any down here at all it looks like it's mainly up here for the lighting which is going to be stunning you know what I'm surprised about y'all is that there's no white AB <laughs> how is there no white AB there's always a white AB with Diamond Art Club but no not this time so yeah y'all that's all i'm finding of the ab's what do you think this is absolutely gorgeous and y'all with my large paintings the reason they don't intimidate me you guys is because i work with them rolled so i only have a small section exposed to me at one time so i would recommend if the size of it intimidates you because you're not sure how to work on it I would definitely recommend rolling it. Now, if you just don't like large paintings because you don't want to spend, you know, a lot of time working on the same painting, maybe you could have a smaller one going at the same time, maybe. Um, but yeah, definitely don't let the size intimidate you. You know, I roll this up, you guys. Like this. And I start working on it. And only that. Only this is exposed to me at one time. And then as I start placing diamonds down, I take, let's say this is covered with diamonds. I roll it out with the diamonds facing out. Have the bottom rolled. <laughs> and I work on it like this, you guys. Just like that. So the size never bothers me anymore i used to be very intimidated but y'all you should try it out you should try it out you guys so yeah y'all i thank you so much for watching i appreciate your support thank you and until next time bye